Hello everyone, welcome back to Discrete Mathematics. Uh, we want to general this time still in the graph from the uh, basic terminology of graph. In this part of uh, our discussion, we want to generalize our ob our observation in uh, some of the examples we saw in the earlier videos, namely that the in undirected graph or in fact also in directed graph, the sum of the degrees of the nodes is actually even. And also in directed graph, the sum of uh, incoming and outgoing degree uh, uh, is the same. So this is uh, this this is actually general. Uh, this is this holds in general, and we call this handshaking theorem. So we want to show that this theorem holds. So suppose in the case of undirected undirected G, right? So undirected graph G. So if so, in undirected graph, each edge contributes uh, contributes two, right? Uh, to uh, contributes two to the count of the degree, right? Yeah, one, one, eight, four the degree of each of its endpoints yeah well the endpoints may be the, the same so if, therefore that's why in our definition the loop uh, needs, to, needs to contribute to to the to the degree so yeah because its edge contributes to uh, to the degree of the nodes, uh, so therefore, yeah, therefore, uh, the sum of uh, the degree of phi is twice the num the number of edges, yeah. So therefore, it has to be even, right? Now, how about directed graph? In directed graph, G, each directed edge contributes 1 to the in degree of its source and also 1 to the out degree sorry not source here to in degree of the its target and one to out degree of its source. So each edge, right? So therefore, the sum of in degree must be the same as as the, the sum of all in degrees must be the same of the number of edges, and the sum of all degree must be the number of the same must be the same as the number of edges. So therefore, here is exactly our uh, yeah. our conclusion now of course because the degree of a node in the directed graph uh, is the sum of the its in and out degree so therefore uh, you have the uh, sum of the all degree of all nodes is actually twice the number of edges again right so this gives us the handshaking theorem. Um, this handshaking theorem has an interesting color corollary. So if you have a graph G, then there are an even number of nodes whose degree is odd. Right? There are an even number of nodes whose degree is odd. Yeah. So, uh, so so this, for example, uh, here is an example of a graph, uh, a directed one, for example, um, or uh, undirected. So you have this, so you have this, uh, and say you have this. Now the the number of nodes whose degree is even, sorry, whose degree is odd, 
is this one and this one. It's two, right? And so always, it always holds in general. Yeah. So how do we show this? Well, so suppose otherwise, right? Yeah. If that is, uh, there is not an even number uh, of such nodes. In other words, there is an odd number of nodes with an odd degree. Yeah, then the sum of the degree, sum of the degree would be the sum of the degree uh, uh, such that degree of phi is even plus some of the degrees is that degree of V is odd, right? Now, this is obviously even, but if we have an odd number of this, an odd number of V is that degree of V is odd, then this becomes odd, right? So therefore, the sum will be odd which violates, uh, contradicts uh, handshaking theorem. Yeah, Because the handshaking theorem says that the sum of the degree must be even. So therefore, our assumption that there is an odd number of nodes with an odd degree is wrong and uh, we conclude that there are an even number of nodes whose degree is odd. So, uh, let's use this. Uh, uh, this theorem and the corollary to show this uh, to, to prove this statement so prove that in a party attended by an odd number of people there exists a person who is acquainted with an even number of others um, uh, well this includes being acquainted with no one which is with zero other people try uh, proving this uh, statement and uh, as an exercise and we will discuss the proof or the solution uh, in the next video.